In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to fix the Discord rate limited error. If you're an avid user of Discord, you might have encountered this issue when all you want is seamless communication. Rate limiting is a mechanism usually set up to prevent abuse, but it can be frustrating when you bump into it. Let's walk through some steps to navigate around this problem. First and foremost, the simplest approach is patience. Yes, you heard it right. Sometimes you just need to wait it out. Rate limiting often happens because you've tried to perform an action too many times in a short period, like multiple failed login attempts or trying to join too many servers quickly. When Discord detects this, it will temporarily limit your actions. This period can last just a few hours, but might extend up to 24 hours. So, if you're not in a hurry, take a break, come back later, and the issue will likely resolve itself. If waiting isn't ideal, or if you suspect there's a different underlying problem, you can try using incognito mode in your web browser. This can be helpful if the rate limit is linked to cached data or cookies stored in the regular mode. Switching to incognito or private browsing gives you a fresh session and might bypass any restrictions linked to your typical browsing state. Navigate to your browser's menu, select the option to open a new incognito window, and log into Discord from there to see if the error persists. Another step you can take is to restart your router. This action can be particularly useful if the rate limit is tied to your network address. By powering down your router for about a minute and then restarting it, you're likely to receive a new IP address, which might help in bypassing the rate limit restriction. Alternatively, if you have access to a different network, such as using mobile data or another internet connection, try switching to that network and see if there's any improvement. Finally, if none of these steps work and you continue to experience issues, don't hesitate to reach out to Discord support for assistance. When contacting support, provide them with all relevant information about the problem, such as how long you've been experiencing the issue and what troubleshooting steps you've already tried. This will help the support team diagnose the problem more efficiently. They may be able to provide a solution or at least give insight into why you're encountering the rate limit error. And there you have it. By employing these steps, you should be able to tackle the Discord rate limited error with confidence. Whether by waiting it out, tweaking your browsing session, renewing your network connection, or asking for help, you've got multiple ways to overcome this hurdle. Thanks for tuning in, and I hope this guide was helpful to you.